Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, April 4th. I'm James Spann. Some thunderstorms passing through this morning and a weakening trend. The next big issue is the system coming in here late in the weekend and early Monday morning. We'll take a look at all of this in detail. Let's look at the water vapor satellite view across the nation this morning. Big upper trough passing north of Alabama. Thankfully, the main dynamic support is lifting up toward the Great Lakes. And accordingly, we have the weakening trend. That was the way the radar looked a little after 5 o'clock. That was at 5.04. And uh, the storm's pretty strong coming through uh, Hamilton. The uh, winds there gusted to 50 miles an hour. Had some reports of scattered trees down in Lamar County, some power outages in Fayette County. But again, the storms are going downhill uh, at this point. Temperatures starting off the day, mostly in the 60s. We'll expect a high in the upper 70s in most spots today. Let's look at the watches and the warnings around the United States early this morning. Those uh, darker brown shades uh, up around the Ohio River, those are flash flood warnings in effect. Winter storm warnings up in the cold air, parts of Wisconsin, upper Michigan, Minnesota, and uh, severe weather watches in the warm sector. Uh, that's a tornado watch, uh, technically until 10 o'clock for parts of north and west Alabama. But again, uh, that batch of storms is weakening. There have been no reports of any tornadoes, and we don't expect any as the uh, wind shear values have really dropped off considerably. Still a slight risk of severe weather through uh, parts of Alabama, but again, that will be trimmed in coming hours. And really, the next issue we're going to focus on is what's going to happen late in the weekend. This is the day three convective outlook. This is for Sunday and Sunday night into early Monday morning. Uh, this actually goes through 7 a.m. Monday, and the risk of severe weather is defined over parts of central and southwest Alabama, basically uh, Demopolis over to Clanton, Montgomery, and points south and west, and we'll take a look at that in modeling. And boy, it's uh, going to be pretty wet. This is the projected rain through Wednesday morning of next week. And this is hinting that uh, a pretty good chunk of Alabama could see three to four inches of rain. In fact, that thing is showing a 4.6-inch bullseye not too far from Gadsden. So uh, flooding might be an issue by the time we get to Monday morning as well. Look at the modeling again. This is the OZGFS valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. This is at 500 millibars. Upper forcing way to the north. Surface low over Michigan, 995 millibars with a trailing band of showers and storms. And the uh, showers are kind of fizzling out. And what what might happen, uh, the, the, you know, the showers could weaken and go away, and then another band forms on the actual surface boundary this afternoon. But uh, if that happens, the afternoon showers or storms uh, are not expected to be severe. And it will not rain all day, by the way, if you got something planned. But clearly, it's a wet start. Now, tomorrow's going to be a nice day. This is the day that you'll want to get outside and enjoy it. Uh, we're expecting a mostly sunny sky. It's going to be cooler, though, with highs in the mid-60s. Uh, we start the day down in the low 40s, so nice and sunny, but again, uh, cooler than recent days. No, no more low 80s. But it comes right back. The rain, that is. This is Sunday at 1 o'clock. Uh, rain becomes widespread from about Birmingham South. That rain will be uh, scooting on up in here. Uh Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. This is Sunday night, just after midnight. The surface low is moving up to a point along Interstate 55 between Jackson and Memphis. And remember, the greater chance of any severe weather will be south and east of the surface low. And this is Monday at 7 a.m. Uh, the surface low is along Interstate 40 between Memphis and Nashville with a big old batch of storms coming in here. And then at 1 o'clock Monday afternoon, we're getting into a dry slot and the rain kicks out. So no doubt we're going to have a soaking rain with this thing. The question is, will we have any severe weather? Uh, we're going to look at the uh, parameters valid at uh, 4 a.m. early Monday morning. And this is when uh, 
you know, we're going to try and get in the warm sector, and the dynamics are very good, but the thermodynamics are marginal. This is the limiting factor. This is the surface-based cape. And you can see there's a good nose of instability coming up through Mobile and southwest Alabama, but there's no surface-based instability over the northern third of the state. And that's going to be the big question. How far can the uh, unstable air move northward? Uh, and I think the SPC outlook is good. It just seems like the better chance of organized severe weather will be over the southern half of the state, especially southwest Alabama. Uh, and, and the other parameters are just sky high. This is the bulk shear between the surface and 925 millibars. And again, you can see we've got uh, 30 knots of bulk shear. And that would certainly suggest the chance of tornadoes with this, uh, where there is instability, where the storms can become surface-based. And the wind fields are very strong. This is the low-level jet, 60 knots uh, peaking, 50 to 60 knots across the state. So a very d dynamic system with potential for severe weather. Uh, late Sunday night into early Monday morning. But we'll just have to see how far the instability can get in terms of the northward movement. It looks like the better chance of severe weather, possible tornadoes over the southern half of the state at this point. We'll watch it carefully in coming days. This is Tuesday. Boy, look at the trough digging down through here. Goodness. Uh, and as the trough comes in, Tuesday should be a cloudy day, a cool day. There could be some light rain underneath that coal pool. And then this is Wednesday. We've got cold air advection. And Wednesday morning is going to be cold. And, and whether it's Wednesday or Thursday morning is kind of hard to tell at this point. But both of those mornings, we have potential to get down in the 30s and potential for some frost, I think, on one of those mornings. It might be Thursday. The good news, I don't think we see temperatures, you know, going below freezing at this point. Uh, maybe some of the colder pockets over North Alabama, but it looks like generally uh, mid-30s. And frost is the main issue. And we'll be able to be much more specific with that as we get closer. This is Thursday. That might be our coldest morning as the surface high is right on top of us and we get the good radiational cooling. But Wednesday and Thursday will be dry. And a week from today will be dry. Uh, and highs go back in the low 70s by then. But next week, clearly not as warm as this week. A couple of other looks later in the month. This is the uh, 14th of uh, April. Looks kind of wet and stormy. And the 19th, we stay in kind of a moist air mass. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.